Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install macOS Catalina in your Windows operating system by using VirtualBox. So, for install macOS Catalina, you need to first install the VirtualBox with its extension pack. So, if you don't know how to install VirtualBox with its extension pack, don't worry about it. Check out the link in the description below. I will show you the process how you can do that. So, after install the VirtualBox with its extension pack, now you can continue this video. So, before I start this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss any update. So let's start it. So for install the macOS Catalina in your Windows operating system, you need some of files, which is VirtualBox image file, which is bootable image as you can see here. And second one is code for VirtualBox. And third one is macOS Catalina ISO file. All the file you can find in this description below. So check out the link in the description below and download all the files. So once you download all the files, now you can start the installation part. So for install the macOS Catalina, you need to open your virtual box and go to the new and select here export mode. Now you need to give here a name what you can want. I'm just right here Catalina. And this is the file location where our installation is happened. Now you just select here type is macOS X and version is macOS X64 bit. So now you just select here hard disk type is create a virtual hard disk now and select here create. Here you need to select the file size. You can put here whatever you can want. I just give here 80 GB for smoothly running purpose. Then you need to select here hard disk file type is virtual machine disk. And select here create. Now our Catalina is create here as a virtual machine. So now we need to change some settings. So for change this, just click on the setting and go to the system. Now you need to give here the memory size. So for better performance, you need to give here half of your memory. I have 8 GB memory, so I give here 4 GB. 4 GB means 4096 MB. So I just write here 4096 and you need to select here chipset is PIIX3 then you need to go to the processor and here you need to also the half of your processor I have 8 CPU so I just select here 4 and no need to change here anyone then you need to go to the display section and I increase the video memory is maximum 128 MB then you need to go to the storage and select here this icon choose here add option and select here virtual box bootable image file and click here open now you just select the virtual box image vmdk and select here choose then you need to select the empty and select the this cd icon and select here choose a dx file and here you need to select the catalina iso file here is our catalina iso file just select and open it after all the tasks is complete just hit on ok or all the setting is complete so before I start the Catalina we need to complete one more task you need to open the 
code for virtual box text file so in this text file we need to change here change here the text which is virtual machine name with our virtual machine name so when you write your virtual machine name here you need to remember here one more things which is every letter is as like the virtual machine name otherwise this command not work so for change it first i need to copy the text which is virtual machine name and go to the edit and select here replace in this section you need to write here your virtual machine name so once you write here your virtual machine name you just choose here the option which is replace all just click on it and see it will automatically change the text with our virtual machine name so for run this code you need to close your virtual machine first and go to the search bar and search their cmd and right click on it and click as run as administrator now it will open our command line as you can see here now what you can do you just copy all the text as like me so now what you can do you just select all this area as like me and uh, press ctrl c to copy it and uh, paste it here ctrl b and as you can see our all the code is here to run this code you need to press enter our command run is successful so now as you can see in this text file there is also a line which say add code below if you are create virtual box on amd cpu so that means if you are use virtual machine on your amd cpu or your cpu is amd then you need to copy this line and paste it also this command line and also press the enter button to run this code and if you are not amd user then you no need to do any things so once our code run is successful now we are close the command line and also close the text file so now what you can do you just again open your virtual box and select here your virtual machine and uh, click the option which is start now it will start our catalina virtual machine it's take a time so wait for until any response has come so as you can see now it will show you to select here your language i just select here english and select here this icon then here you need to go to the dix utility and select here continue and here you just select on this vbox hard dix media and choose here the option which is erase now here you need to give here a name you can give here whatever you can want i just name it mac and in this format section you need to set here the apfs and schema as like as by default so once you set all the as like me just select here erase so once our erase is complete it will show you done option as you can see here just choose here the option done now close this dix utility from here and choose here the option which is install macOS and select here continue now again you need to click here continue and here is some license agreement just click on agree now here you need to choose the dix which you erase before just select on it and choose here the option install now as you can see it will start our catalina installation it will take much time it's depend on your system or hardware specifications so wait until its installation is complete
So once our installation is complete, now it will show you this kind of interface which say welcome. Now here you need to select here your country and choose the option which is continue. Now again you need to select here the option which is continue. Here also you need to continue. Now again you need to select continue. And in this section you can log in here your Apple ID. So I have no Apple ID so I just skip this section. For skip this you just select here the option which is setup letter. Just click on it and choose here the option skip. Now it will show you some terms and condition here. You need to agree here. Just select on agree. And in this section you need to create here your computer account. You can give here any kind of name. I just name it my. And set here a password. So once you do this. Now just click on the continue. And here you also select the continue button. And here you also need to continue. Also select here continue. And here you see the Apple famous AI which is Siri. Just continue here and also here continue. So now in this section it will show you to improve Siri. It will show you these two options. I just set it not now and continue. So now as you can see here you need to choose here your theme. What you can want. It has three themes as you can see here. First one is light, dark and auto. So I just leave it as by default on light and select here continue. Now wait a moment it will setting up our Mac. So what you can see this is the moment which you waiting for. Here is our Catalina operating system as you can see here. This is the interface of Catalina. So now here you need to do one more task which is show here. To set up your keyboard you need to select here continue. So once you click on continue it will show you this kind of message to identify your keyboard. If you are look on your keyboard you will see two shift key. One is in this left side of this keyboard and another one is in this right side of this keyboard. First instruction is from your left side shift key. You need to press here the key which is after your left side shift key. And this instruction to show you to your right side shift key. And you need to press here the key which is before your right side shift key. So I just press on it. So then it will show you to select here conclusion. Just leave as by default and select here done. So now all the tax is complete and it will show you some update is available. I just choose here the option from later remind me tomorrow. So as you can see our Catalina is look like this. So if you are see the version of this Catalina you need to go to the Apple icon and choose here the option which is about this Mac click on it and here you can see the version of this Catalina which is under the text which say Mac OS Catalina and here you can see the display size. Now currently our display size is on 124 into 768 and here you see the storage. Here is the memory and here is also other two option which is support and service. So if you are want to see all the apps and software which is installed in this Mac OS as by default. You just select here the option which is launchpad. So once you click on it it will show you all the apps which has as by default in this Mac OS Catalina. So if you are change the background image of our Catalina you need to go to the settings and choose here the option which is desktop and skin saver. And here you can choose the image which you want. So once you click on any of image it will automatically change the background as you can see. So I just leave it on this image and close the section. So here is one more problem which is when you full screen your virtual box it will only full screen the virtual box but not full screen the Catalina as you can see here. 
and even when you click on view and choose the option full screen mode it will full screen but not full screen the catalina so close the full screen mode you need to hover on this white line which is see in this below and go to view and uh, select here again full screen mode now it will close the full screen mode as you can see so in my next video i try to solve how to full screen the catalina and how to fix this problem so that's all guys i hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share for more updates you need to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and i will see you guys in this next video inshallah thank you so much